Starting out with a new DFS optimizer can always be a little bit stressful, but here at Sabersim, we try to make it as easy as possible. My name's Jordan Chan, I'm Sabersim's head coach, and this video is my top six tips to get the most out of your first week with Sabersim. Tip number one is learn the Sabersim DFS Profit Plan. The number one mistake most DFS players make, no matter what optimizer you're using, is poor bankroll management and contest selection. And the DFS Profit Plan is a system that we developed by simulating out a bankroll, trying different contests and different combinations of contests to figure out what the best contests in the lobby are to play to maximize your ability to make a profit while minimizing the risk to your bankroll. You'll hear this video referenced in a lot of our other videos, and it's in the description of this video if you want to check it out but before you focus on anything else in your dfs profit process you need to make sure your contest selection and bankroll management is tight so that you're maximizing your ability to make money and minimizing the risk of ruin now, tip number two is build some lineups. Sabersim's approach to DFS is different and frankly, a lot better than every other tool out there for two main reasons. The first is that Sabersim is building lineups using play-by-play -play game simulations of every game. We simulate a, out each game on the slate play-by-play -play thousands of times and then use that data to build lineups. Each lineup you build with Sabersim is the optimal lineup that could have been built for the way that a slate could have played out, which means that lineups that you're building on Sabersim are going to be much better as a starting point here for that particular sport and slate and contest that you're building for than any other tool out there because we know the actual ways that these games can play out. Second, on Sabersim, you're not just going to get the number of lineups you're playing in your contests. We're building a very large pool of lineups so you can make adjustments to the final lineups you're playing after building instead of having to do everything up front and start over from scratch when you want to change something. One of the biggest mistakes mistakes I see people new to Sabersim make is they sit down for the first time and go in and try to set a bunch of settings and make a bunch of adjustments, which is what their process on any other optimizer used to be. But on Sabersim, a lot of that is going to be a waste of time and can maybe end up with a worse product to your lineups here. Now, that's not to say once you get familiar with the tool, there isn't value that can be added by setting rules and exposures and groups and things like that. And there is a ton of control in Sabersim. But for your first couple of builds, just go in, click the green build lineups button, set the settings here to a contest that you're playing on that particular slate and build and take a look at what the lineups look like when you're done. As you can see here, this build's now complete, and if I look over at my stack types, I'm seeing right out of the gate, I'm getting the perfect kind of stacks I typically want to see in my baseball lineups. I'm also not just eating all the chalk like you'd get on a traditional optimizer. If we look at some of the chalkiest plays on the slate, Saberson is making some stands to fade some of the pitching and hitting chalk on this particular slate. And even though I'm playing 20 lineups for this particular slate, I have 500 great lineups to work with here in this pool. So if I want to make a change and I want to, for example, fade Cleveland, I can go ahead and set my max exposure to Cleveland equal to zero, click apply, and we'll find the next best 20 lineups in the pool here of 500 where there are no Cleveland stacks whatsoever. Tip number three is learn how to use Sabersim's powerful entry editor tool. This tool will help you get your lineups out of Sabersim and into your contest in just a couple clicks, saving you a bunch of time and reducing the risk of making an error entering those lineups by hand or using the old school clunky CSVs to get your lineups in. As long as you've already registered for contests on DraftKings or FanDuel, all you need to do once you're happy with your lineups is click the fill entries button, then click the download button here to automatically grab that file from DraftKings or FanDuel, upload that file, and then click fill all entries, and finally download and then reopen the site that you're playing for that particular slate. Just like that, the 20 lineups we just built here in this video are now uploaded into my entries file for this particular slate. If you're interested in going a little bit deeper into the entry editor, I've got another more detailed tutorial linked in the description of this video. Now, tip number four is know how to use Sabersim's powerful late swap tools. Now, you never want to get stuck with a zero in your lineups because a player got ruled out after lock, but Sabersim's late swap tools go far beyond that, allowing you to use our powerful updated simulations as news is breaking throughout the slate. The most important thing you can be doing when it comes to late swapping your lineups is checking back in before the start of each game and first checking if you have this red lightning bolt indicator in the uh, upper left of your app. If you do, this means you have players that are in your entries file that's on Sabersim that have since been ruled out and aren't going to play that slate. Just click this button and swap those players out and get the next best available player in so you know at least you're not taking a zero. 
You can download that entries file, pop it back into DraftKings or FanDuel, and you know that you are now not going to have a zero in those builds. But SaberSim's late swap tools do go far beyond that, allowing you to easily rebuild your lineups, swapping in and rebuilding the best possible lineups around players who have already locked with the most recent up-to-date simulations. To do that, just click the Build Lineups button once the slate has already started. The build screen will default to a late swap build because we know that the slate has started, and you can just late swap 20 lineups, and this will build another brand new pool of lineups, giving you just as much control and powerful simulation data as you had before lock. Now, late swap is going to be more or less valuable depending on the sport you're playing. It's baseball season, and late swap is not as impactful for baseball. It is extremely impactful for NBA, but either way, you need to make sure you know how to use this part, part of the process so you're prepared to swap when there is breaking news. Tip number five is attend office hours. Every Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, our coach Andrew goes live on our YouTube channel asking, answering your questions about DFS strategy or using SaberSim. And this is a great resource to get your questions answered by a live coach in real time. You can join the stream and ask as many questions as you want, ask as many follow-up questions as you need and get your questions answered. And the best part about this content is it happens every weekday and it's evergreen content. These are not shows where we're focusing on today's slate and giving you picks that don't really teach you how to become a better player. This type of content here really helps you improve over the long term by giving you answers to the questions that you have about how to build better lineups. If you can't make the live show at that time, you can always email us at support at sabersim.com and just let us know what your question is and we'll respond with a timestamped link to the recording of when we covered that question on the most recent show. And last but not least, tip number six is join the SaberSim Discord. There is a link to join the Discord channel in the description of this video. Once you're in, you can verify your account and you will get access to the best community in DFS. We have sports-specific channels if you want to chat about sports-specific strategy or just sweat your lineups on the current slate with everybody else. We've also got an office hours channel, a wishlist channel, and a support channel to reach out to the SaberSim team with questions, ideas, anything like that. And if you you're on SaberSim's Pro Plan, you'll get access to the Pro Channel and the Pro Videos Channel, which has inc exclusive content and discussion for our SaberSim Pro subscribers, which has some of the richest and most well thought out minds in DFS talking every single day about strategy. I can't recommend the Pro Channel, but the Discord at large enough. And it's a huge part of being a part of the SaberSim team is getting into the Discord and joining the conversation there. And that's it. Those are my six tips to having a successful first week with SaberSim. To quickly sum up, get your contest selection and bankroll management down right with the DFS Profit Plan. Then hop into the app and build some lineups and see the power of building with simulations and building a large pool of lineups. Learn how to use the entry editor and save time and reduce the risk of making errors getting your lineups into your contests. Know how to late swap and take advantage of the quick swap and late swap tools to react to breaking news. Attend office hours, ask some questions, and talk to an expert about how to improve your DFS process, and join the Discord and become a part of our awesome community by joining the conversation there. If you have any questions about the rest of the lineup building process on SaberSim, you can always reach out at support at sabersim.com or in our Discord server. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck.